So, you fancy creating a tutorial within your REPL? Well, good news, it's easier than you think. Let's start by creating any kind of REPL at all. Now, I'm gonna go Python just because I'm a bit of a Python nerd. And let's give it a name. And I'm gonna click Create. Now, the way we've built tutorials is that it should be very, very simple to add tutorials to any REPL in any language that you want. And there's a very, very simple way of doing that. You need to make a folder that is named dot tutorial. Now, the moment you do that, the tutorial pane will pop up because it recognizes it as a tutorial REPL. It's currently saying no tutorials found because there's nothing in there just yet. Within that tutorial folder, you can add the images, video resources, anything you want. But the most important thing are the chapters of the tutorial. These are named markdown files. They'll be sorted alphabetically, so the best thing to do is give them numbers. It's important that the very first line is a first level heading because this is what will be shown in the table of contents. You'll see there that we have a one page tutorial. So at the moment, that's all we've got in it. But if we had a second page, we need to give this a first level heading as well because the moment we go back to tutorial, now we've got our ability to navigate to page one from page one to page two and go back. But we've also got our table of contents that allows us to navigate between that. Remember any REPLs that are forked from this will remember their position in the tutorial. And you also get that nice progress bar indicator on the bottom. The tutorial format is what we've used to build 100 days of code. So you should be able to get similar results yourself. Don't forget the Markdown files support all the standard Markdown syntax, as well as embedding images, videos, and Figma files, which is pretty cool. But we know why you're here. It's not just the tutorial format you're after, it's the beautiful floating video pane. Well, this is actually just a JSON file linking to a YouTube video. We're gonna create a file within the .tutorial folder called video.json. Now a JSON file is a way to store certain parameters. We're gonna add something simple. We're gonna put curly braces in, which stores the contents of the JSON file, our first and only key value as embed URL and our second value as a YouTube embed URL. And that's really important that that is a YouTube embed URL there. The YouTube embed URL always looks the same. It's youtube.com slash embed slash and the unique code for your video. So you can construct that manually if you want, or you can get it from the sharing page of your YouTube video. Once that's done, all we need to do is reload the page. And once we reload, you'll see the video popping straight up there as an embed. And we have all the same functionality we have from the 100 days embeds, which is that we can close it. And once closed, the show tutorial video button will pop up in the tutorials tab. That can be resized, that can be watched in full screen, but it can be watched whilst the user is editing your code. Any REPL that contains a dot tutorial folder will, when forked, automatically pop up the tutorial for the user to work through. It's a great way of embedding your tutorials in real workable code in a REPL. We'd love to see what you do with it, so do let us know.